Hello and welcome to my style guide. First I'm going to be talking about the different types of forms. I'm first going to talk, start off with bulletins. What is a bulletin? Well a bulletin is a short news programme reporting only the most important information. However these short these stories are not covered in depth and gives the readers slash all listeners a quick roundup of the situation of what is happening. It fills them in on the main stories of the day. Here is my example. Hello, I'm Matt. Another great episode of Being Human. Now, a quick update. A new plea from the British couple being held by Somali pirates since October. Paul and Rachel Chana say they're being cruelly treated by version of the government to help free them. From Murray Mania to Murray Misery, and he got quite emotional after failing to win his first Grand Slam title, as Scott was beaten by Roger Federer in the final of the Australian Open. Ten Americans are being held in Haiti. The group are accused of trying to take 30 young children out of the country after the earthquake. They'll appear in court tomorrow. Prince Harry has been doing his royal bit for Haiti. He strutted his stuff at a fundraising concert in Barbados. Earlier, the prince visited a children's hospital. And Brad and Angelina turned up at the American Directors Guild Awards last night. It's their first public appearance in a while. They saw Catherine Bigelow become the first woman to ever win the award. OK, all the showbiz in 45 minutes. That's after Brand New Heroes, here on 3. The example I have shown you is a, bullet, you is a bulletin because it is 60 seconds long, which means it's a short recap of what has happened throughout the day. However, this news bulletin is for TV, not radio. TV news bulletins show the audience a visual of what is happening as as. Uh, 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 this also lets the audience know how serious the situation is. Some TV news bulletins are longer than other de uh, than others, depending on what the channel. As BBC Three only does this short bulletin throughout the TV program at a certain time. While on the other hand, BBC One may broadcast a news bulletin ev um, ev for several every uh, several hours apart from each other, such for for example three, six, and nine. From the Sky News Centre at five. Police are investigating claims a bullet has been sent to Anton Ferdinand. It's believed that a package addressed to the defender was received by his club QPR. Tomorrow's FA Cup tie is the first time his side met Chelsea, since allegations of racial abuse involving Ferdinand and John Terry. The blue skipper denies the claims against him. QPR boss Mark Hughes is hoping tomorrow's game passes off without incident. I just hope that everybody is sensible and, and enjoys the game for what it is. It's a fantastic cup tie um, and we're all looking forward to it and we just want to basically be talking about the football and what happens on the pitch. Two men will appear in court tomorrow charged with the murder of a man whose decapitated body was found on far. John Granger was discovered in Stockport yesterday morning as firefighters put out a blaze. A farmer has been jailed for 12 months after scores of animals were found dead on the Canis's farm. Trading standard officers made the discovery when they visited Keith Littlewood's farm in Besswood in Nottingham last year. A stalker is beginning a two-year jail term for a game breach in a court order designed to stop him harassing former classmates. 36-year-old Elliot Fogel carried out more than 40,000 internet searches on Claire Waxman's name in one year. Laura Richards from the Charity Protection Against Stalking says the issue is to be taken more seriously. I think lots of people don't realise there isn't an offence of stalking currently. I feel, as does the charity and many others, that it's time for change and that actually most people understand what stalking is. We need to name it, identify it and put people before the courts for it. Fourth round of the FA Cup starts tonight. Tottingham are playing Watford at Vicarage Roads. Everton against Fulham is this evening's other game. And filmmaker Danny Boyle has released the theme of the London 2012 opening ceremony. The artistic director has picked a Shakespeare-inspired title, It's Isles of Wonder. That's the latest from the Sky News Centre. I'm Stuart Meller. However, while this news bulletin is meant for radio, people are normally driving while they're listening to the radio. This is one of the reasons why radio bulletins are so short as it informs the drivers or listeners what is happening in, in short detail. What is a headline? A headline is a title to a story or article. This is the main thing that will draw the listener to the article. It is a short description of what the article is about. It is similar to how the news is introduced on TV. This is BBC Surrey. Good afternoon, it's midday, I'm Aurelia Allen.
A firm of private investigators in Guildford, which employs teenage girls to spy on people, says there's nothing seedy about it. It's just good business. The youngest employee at Answers Investigations is 17, and their work includes tracking down family members, staking out suspected paedophiles, and checking out cheating spouses. Marnie has worked for the company since she was 14. One of her jobs was to catch out uninsured private hire taxis. We were dressed up in our heels as if we'd been a night out and approached, you know, approached taxis or waited them to approach us and we had a 100% rate of, of them saying yes, we'll pick you up. So you know, we were picked up by five taxi drivers who were going to drive us home and I have to say, dangerously. Um, you know, we obviously we take every precaution with a job and we are never put in danger. Nigel was there with another vehicle to make sure you know, they knew exactly where we were every single moment of the time. So The headline to the story is a firm of private investigators employ teenage girls to spy on people and then the story continues. This headline is, try is helped to try and engage the reader or listener even to the main story. What is a news programme? A news programme is a programme devoted to current events often using interviews and commentary. And welcome to Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Nkem Ifejika. I'm Will Ross, and this is the BBC Africa Debate. <laughs> Nigeria boasts the biggest population in Africa and the biggest economy. It's about to host important elections against a backdrop of ongoing insecurity in some parts of the country. This debate is being recorded on Wednesday, February the 4th, and the first vote for the next president and national assembly, as the parliament's known, is scheduled to take place in 10 days' time. The world will be watching with interest at what looks as if it'll be a close contest. Foreign investors want to know that the economy and their money is in safe hands. Everyone wants to know how the Boko Haram threats will affect the process. Will these elections threaten the country's unity, or will voters look past ethnicity and religion? And is the independent National Electoral Commission ready to hold free and fair elections? Previous polls have been marred by violence and the challenges are even greater this time around. And as we're recording, there's still uncertainty as to whether a postponement is imminent. Apart from security, the falling price of oil and the declining value of the Naira means that whoever wins will have huge economic challenges. On the panel today, we have Ideat Hassan is the director for the Center for Democracy and Development. Chude Jideomwo is a media entrepreneur and co-founder of the Youth Civil Society Group, Enough is Enough Nigeria. He's now involved with the campaign for Buhari, the presidential candidate for the main opposition party. We have Senator Sheye Ogunlewe, the former minister and a member of the governing PDP party, and Kolo Karim, the CEO of the oil and gas company Shoreline Energy. Plus, a big welcome too to our audience here in Lagos, which includes a number of politicians, as well as religious leaders, civil society activists, 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 society. In the short clip I have recorded from BBC4 Radio's iPlayer news program, you can tell it is a news program as it opens telling you the current event they'll be discussing, which is the African debate. It also includes the host introducing the guests they're going to interview on the show. What is copy only with audio clips? This is a news broadcast feature. This is where the news broadcast holds vocal interviews or information that is pre-recorded. Bizzle in the live lounge tomorrow. Which will be very nice. Right now, though, it's 12.45. Let's get the latest from Chris Smith at Newsbeat. This is... Radio 1. On the way this lunchtime, his 16-year-old son was a month into an apprenticeship with a builder. I still remember that day. I, I pulled up outside the office. I punched him in the leg. I said to him, don't work too hard, Elf. 
That was the last thing I ever said to him. Alfie Perrin's parents are now calling for better safety on building sites. Yes, From today, if you post revenge porn online, you could face two years in jail, although not in Northern Ireland. The profile of revenge porn is not as prominent as it is in England, so I need to get over there and make it public. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens everywhere. And it's heavy, it's fragile, you can't shuffle, but vinyl is back in the charts. Because I've grown up in sort of a digital era where everything's just MP3, it's, there's a more of a craving to own music and own a physical form of music. BBC. Newsbeat. First, this lunchtime, he was training to be a carpenter and started working on a building site. But when 16-year-old Alfie Perrin was told to throw rubbish off a roof, 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 to throw. The example I have shown starts with a headline about a young boy who dies a month into an apprenticeship at a building site. It then has a pre-recorded interview. Of the boss's bo of the boy's boss telling Radio One Newsbeat how he remembers the day it happened and what the last thing he said to him. Later on, it goes into a conversation, which is, has already been pre-recorded, with the boss. What is a rap? Well, you may be thinking, how does fajita raps come into different forms of radio? Well, you're wrong. Raps are found at the ending of each article or story. It is used to conclude the story and try. I move on to the up next story. A popular rap that is heard is in other news, which means the current story has finished and the next one is about to start. In across Western Scotland, which will make for a disappointing day with highs of 10 degrees. On digital and online, this is BBC Radio 5 Live. Now, 5 Live Breakfast. Your call with Nikki Campbell. Call 0500 909 693. Calls are free for most landlines, but some networks and mobile operators will charge. Text 85058. Text will be charged at your standard message rate. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. So we're doing this kind of hour with uh, the party leaders and high hegians uh, over the uh, election campaign, and uh, we've uh, we've heard the conservative view. We did that. 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 The example I'm sharing you is different from the description of what an article of what a rap can include. I know this is a rap because it goes from the weather to a live chat of the presenter, but but between this. Pre between this transition is Radio 1 Newsbeat with their information line. It h helps conclude that it is that it was the end of the weather. What is Live Cross? This is where the presenter or newsreader crosses over to another reporter in another location, normally out of the studio. This is live. Hi, I'm Ros Atkins. Welcome to BBC World News Live from our new home at Broadcasting House. Let's begin this hour in Bamako. Rebels in Mali seize a government-held town as France insists its military intervention will only last weeks. Amid stark warnings of the humanitarian crisis facing Syrians, the BBC's Lise Doucette reports from a refugee camp in Lebanon. The children, the children are, are everywhere and you see them there, their hands are, are freezing and their teeth are just are chattering, they're so cold. It's believed to be the biggest gathering on earth, we're going to show you the extraordinary site of the Kumela festival in India. And our new home, BBC Broadcasting House, is the biggest multilingual newsroom in the world, we're going to show you around. The French government says its military intervention in Mali is developing favourably. That isn't how every... I know this is a live cross because it goes from the presenter in the studio to different shots in the country they are talking about to another presenter in the country talking to people from that country and saying how cold their hands are from the weather. What is two-way? Very similar to live cross, but this can be pre-recorded meaning it can be played out at any time. However, my live cross example 
could be also pre-recorded as it's as it's in a different country time difference can be a problem I'm now going to be moving on to different styles seen in radio broadcasting what is related to the audience this is how the radio is related to a certain type of audience this could be from the news or different style of music semi-final thanks to Super Suarez. Suarez to the edge of the area and he guides it beyond Sirigu and scores his second of the evening. Once again PSG. Barcelona surely now are on their way to the semi-finals. Talk Sport is a radio channel that it talks mainly about sports, hence the name. Talk Sport is mainly aimed their radio channel to all sports fans from any age. It also includes the news to inform listeners about what is going on around the, going on around the world. What is public service? Public service radio is publicly founded through licensed fees. Due to it being publicly funded, the news is required to be unbiased and truthful. Truthful. It should provide a represent, representation of the UK, its nation, regions, and communities. All forms can be covered from current affairs to celebrity news. BBC TV and radio stations must follow set guidelines. As it's publicly funded, they have made each radio station designs for different ages. For example, the younger generation would listen to BBC One over BBC Two. This is due to the music, as well as the way they speak to the audience and engage them in. You can also see that the older, older people or older generation would listen to Radio 3 while Radio 5 includes more sport than anything, which is still aimed for the younger generation. One of the newest radio channels they have made is BBC One Extra, which again is set for the younger generation, but however, instead of playing chart hits, they play less popular bands and artists. What is commercial? Most commercial radio stations serve a local or regional area and are owned by one of the global bureaus or UTVs. Its income is generated through advertisement and sponsorships. Throughout the broadcast, new broadcasts can be more targeted towards certain regions, cultures or genders. If you love your old school and anthems, we've got one a full hour of it at 11. So hold tight for Kiss 3. In the meantime, though, tunes on the way. New Martin Garrix is coming and I'm back with Miss Khalifa. Keep it Kiss. If you switch to Talk Talk TV right now, you'll save up to a whopping £307 versus BT. Because our biggest TV bundle is half price. It includes seven Sky Channel. Kiss, Des Kiss FM is sponsored by advertisement as they play a certain amount of songs and then they play a few advertisements as you can hear from the example I've just shown you. This is, can also be used for a break for the listeners. What is community radio? Community radio serves geographic communities and communities of interest. They often cover very local or specific news relatable, news relatable only to small target audiences. They are usually owned by the community that they serve and non-profit. They are a good platform for potential broadcasters to gain industry experience, often run as an online station to keep lower costs. This news is usually very basic. The example of this would be Radio Today, as they have different communities, which means they have different users. What is small scale? Small scale radio would have an even smaller target audience than a community radio station. The news produced for this radio would have a strong focus and feature. My example for this would be Henley Regatta. However, their radio station only, is only available when the regatta is on. They broadcast news about who is winning and how each competitor is doing. What is local? Well, local radio is another type of radio station which only provides local news, which is in the name. And online. This is BBC Radio Bristol. The latest BBC News at two, here's Pete's. Good afternoon. Bristol City say they want to clinch the League One title this weekend after their promotion back to the Championship. Manager Steve Cottrell's been getting much of the credit for City's successful season. The players emphatically beat Bradford 6-0 last night to win promotion for next year. 
Mark is a City fan who's been celebrating with us other supporters outside Ashton Gate this morning. Well, brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, it's after last night, that was a hell of a shot to see this, the score 6-0. They must have been sort of, well, you know, focused and determined to actually finish, you know, um, which has been a great season. The Liberal Democrats have put a commitment to increasing spending on education at the centre of their election manifesto. Nick Clegg urged voters to support his party, saying that was the only way to curb what he saw as the excesses of either... The example I have shown is a local radio station from Brist for Bristol, which only broadcasts news about Bristol, which you can hear in the example. What is regional? Um, regional radios cover larger areas than local, more like a county-sized target audience, whilst the BBC have larger stations such as Radio 1. They also have regional stations, allowing the public's more specific interests to be met. My example of this would be Heart, because you can select on the website which area you would like to li tune into for your area to the news. So, for example, you could tune into Edinburgh or Aberdeen, or London, Kent, Bristol. What is National Radio? Well, this is a large-scale station that can be covered news stories that are considered most important to the nation. My example of this would be Radio 2, which is a national radio station, because whenever, wherever you are in England and tune into Radio 2, you'll be hearing the same content as someone listening to it in another county. What is internet radio? Well, these uh, these are radio stations only broadcasted on the internet. What is cable and satellite? This is when radio channels become on TV. This is due to people stop buying radios and starting to buy TVs. This feature allows them still to listen to the radio. Each radio station, such as Kiss, Capital, even the BBC Radio, are all now found in your TV guide. 